Looney Tunes was such a big part of my Saturday mornings as a child. So many fond memories of eating pancakes, watching Bugs and Elmer Fudd go at it, and of course seeing Wile E. Coyote try to catch the Roadrunner. I never played any of the Looney Tunes games growing up, so I'm about to dig into an early NES title to see what it's like. Today we're going to play Roadrunner, released in 1985 in arcades by Atari, and later ported to the NES by Tengen. The player controls Roadrunner, who is chased by Wile E. Coyote. In order to escape, Roadrunner runs endlessly to the left. Wait a minute, why would the developers make Roadrunner go to the left? Generally, when you move to the left, you're not making any progress, you're going backward. Think of, say, Mario or Mega Man. They all move to the right because they're the heroes, they're making progress. So it just does not make any sense. While avoiding the coyote, the player must pick up bird seeds on the street, avoid obstacles like cars, and get through mazes. Sometimes Wily Coyote will just run after the Roadrunner, but occasionally he uses tools like rockets, roller skates, and pogo sticks. A helpful tip if you want to avoid Wily Coyote getting any of these tools is keep him on the screen. If he doesn't go off the screen, he will not come out with any of the rockets or roller skates. Original reviewers gave this game a 3 out of 5 in 1988. My question is why? Why, why, why would they ever give this game that good of a score? It's awful! And I'm going to tell you the reasons. Simply put, this game is hell. And I understand it was originally an arcade game, and it's an unlicensed NES title, but trying to get the bird seed is unreasonably difficult to get, and you need this bird seed if you expect to beat the coyote. Why would they make something so essential to the gameplay a fucking nightmare to get? The level design is garbage. Isn't the whole point of getting to play as Roadrunner is that you get to go really fast? Well, with all these stupid mazes, that's impossible. Almost immediately you get stuck, or you get lost and confused and you can't figure out a way out, and meanwhile Wily e. Coyote's ready to strangle your ass. But the thing that pissed me most off about this game is the gameplay. You play as the Roadrunner. Why? It would be a million times more interesting if you played as the Coyote and chased the Roadrunner. Imagine getting to play out the scenarios from the cartoon. But no, we play as the Roadrunner and just run. It's a game that gets old pretty fast. In later Looney Tunes games, you can play as the Coyote. I guess they realized how shitty this game was, and decided to address these issues. I only recommend this game if you're questioning your sanity. If you're ready to lose your mind and get insanely frustrated, then play this game. At the very least, you'll have fun as your life fucking falls apart before your eyes. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out our other videos too while you're at it. And see you next time on Guillotine Gaming.